Hey y'all and welcome back. Excuse me. What's up, Nalto? Do you have time after school today? Probably. Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. A doctor? You mean a vet? The normal kind, actually. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. Yep. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Negative that is a good effects. point. Don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. But yeah, I never even thought about that. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. Well, I'll see you all after school. <laughs> that was just an ordinary checkup. I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. Was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Oh, they're back. I'm very sorry for the wait. I'm very sorry for the wait. I'm ahead, but you. So did they find out anything about Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Oh my, what should I do? They took a look at everything inside me. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Persona means something like another personality. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Um, I can't really explain. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and shadow are common psychological terms. Carl Jung. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. <laughs> Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. They get in our way, I'll crush them. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. Teta, Teddy, you're... It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Teddy, let me go on and give you fair warning. If you choose to go down this route, there will be a murder done on you. Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. What? No, you won't! Give them to me now! Ooh! First place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? Look, 
If you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. Okay, Yosuke, you're what? gonna get added to I that murder list. Better, moron! Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. No! Don't say mine! Ah, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. What? Oh yeah, Naoto-kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto-kun's is... Huh? Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Uh, anyways... The important Thank thing you, is Naoto. that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these anymore. I'm going to go shred them. Good idea. Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Y you're right. Let's go home. After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. I know what you really are. You're Teddy. Well, there's always next time. Yeah. Thanks, Sensei. Rank six. Marakunda, too bad you'll never use it. If you don't hurry, we're going to leave you guys behind. All right, see ya. Welcome back. Midterm start next Friday. Study? Nah, I'm good. I have max intellect. Head on over to the shopping district as we are going to get more of our... Hospitale on. Time to uh, do some doc, uh, some more Doctor Yanni tour. Morning, do you do? <sighs> Tests are important too. getting together on the roof on a day like this. Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? Seriously! I was busy handing out flyers at Juness. Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Can you please keep this weekend open? This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies! So she's taking on jobs like that already? I have been 
seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, Inaba. the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being canceled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! It's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Rishisan, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I gonna do if that happens? Singing and handshakes only. No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. What? Wait! I'm no idol! It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too! I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Whoa, whoa, there's no way we can pull off something like that. I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Bullet to you. Thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. Never really played it, though. Oh, wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. I mean, Chie does have a point, though. To somebody who isn't experienced with musical instruments, I can see how they would mistake a bass for a regular guitar. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place for dinner parties and such. Shamison? Some kind of instrument? Oh boy. Then it's decided. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. I call bass. Daddy, try to pick an easy one, okay? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. I mean, I'm already in with them, so I don't see why they wouldn't. So what are we going to do with these? I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? Gong. It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. <sighs> um, I don't think that's going to really matter in this case. Yosuke, try holding these! Huh? Maracas! I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. All right. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here. I'll choose this then. Tambourine. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? 
I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I don't I can know. At least teach you a little bit. I've heard some music that was made up of entirely backup instruments, and it's not bad. Don't underestimate me, boy. Damn, maybe you're gonna show me how to play. I'm gonna trust you. Probably shouldn't. But I well, have been in band all this year. Since have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Hey, why don't I get to pick? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. How does that make any sense? <laughs> Maybe bongos. <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Hey, baby. I'll lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. Uh... So that leaves Yukiko and me? You two. Um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see, what looks easy? Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? I can see Yukiko with the saxophone. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. You got it's not doing into anything. it. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. I think for... What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to read music. <laughs> don't quote me on this, but I think for saxophones, you want a more hum into it. I guess I'm going to have to transfer schools after all. Welcome back. Thanks, Nanako. All right, tonight, we're gonna go get our tower on. Like this? Um. Kind of boring. No kidding. It is the countryside. <laughs> Your lessons are a lot easier to understand. Well, it's coming from somebody that has experience in more recent times than... Like, that, that's one thing that does kind of get me. Like, I do understand teachers obviously have to have the experience with the course they're teaching. At least they really should. But they're ex it's like a, being a doctor. It seems like for teachers... Any and every bit of experience they get, the moment out of getting their teaching license, is obsolete. And a lot of them, a lot of teachers don't seem to really want to go through the effort of updating or can't go through the effort of updating, like in America where it's all about the SATs. You have basically 
no freedom whatsoever to set up you truly unique lesson plans because you have to teach to the test. Rank three. And with that, we'll see y'all next time.